Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back. We are here on Waverly, Kentucky. So today we're going to start off. Uh, we're going to do a farm tour and then set up our work plan and uh, get a feel for everything that we got going on. So <clears throat> starting off here, we got our ranch house and garage in our garage here we have our uh cubota sidekick side by side and then we have our uh, high country service truck and we'll come back in here in just a second <clears throat> then we have our bale storage right here uh one of them anyways and then the other one can be entered through this yard. Um, this is <clears throat> the original farmhouse and uh, building. Uh, just kind of been overgrown. Um, Mom and Dad still live here. But we kind of took over and uh, made some changes. Um, and then we've got our other bale storage building here um, we'll walk back over here so <clears throat> we have our fuel tanks and our Thunder Creek uh, FST 990 fuel trailer and then we got a tank for liquid fertilizer and herbicide now we'll just run back in here uh, we'll grab the side by side. Whoa. Okay. This thing is very squirrely. And so we'll just pull up over here at our main heated shed. So, over here, we have our John Deere 1770, uh, 1775, sorry, uh, 24 row corn planter with the Montag 1700 cart behind it. This is actually, the reason I'm running this setup is uh, this is actually the setup that um, we run on the farm I work for. Uh, only ours is a 1770 planter, and uh, we have dry fertilizer system set up on the front. And then this is pretty much the exact, just about the exact uh, air seeder that we have as well. We have a um, 1895 drill, and then we have a... Uh, it's a 1910 cart, but ours has three tanks. So this is our air seeder here. Um, we've got 10 foremost hopper bins. The Farm King 1385 auger is sitting here. Um, there's our pressure washer right beside the heated building here. Now if we take a look inside, so we've got uh, two Peterbilt, uh, I suppose these would probably be 379s. Um, same colors, just one is nitro blue for the main color. And then uh, I think this was like a, it's, it's some kind of red. I don't remember the exact name. And then on this truck, they're just flip-flopped. Tag axles on both. And then we got two of the 42-foot uh, tandem Timpty hopper trailers. We got the um, hydraulic traps on them. This is our kind of main large workhorse tractor, uh, Case IH 9380 with, oh, there goes autosave, uh, with Michelin duels on it. 
And then our John Deere 7810 with singles, two-wheel drive. That's kind of our spreading and spraying tractor. And over here, we got the Steiger Panther PT350. Again, Michelin Duels. Pulling a J&M 750 grain cart. And then we got our Case IH uh, 2588 Axial Flow Combine. And then over here, we have our 30-foot uh, 1020 grain platform. And then our Case IH 2212 uh, 12 row case or corn header. Sorry, not case header. Obviously. It, and then we have our snowblower sitting here beside the building. Uh, and then we'll walk over here to our next shed. There's our pressure washer a little closer. So in here we have our Mac uh, super liner liquid tender. We've got our two international, what are these, uh, like SX series trucks uh, with the grain beds on them for loading the drill. We've got our peat, uh, I think it's like a 352, uh, I think it's a 352 cab over, pulling our Adams tender for our solid fertilizer, both Solid fertilizer or lime in, uh, you know, lime in our mobility spreader here. This is the mobility 1000 with duels. Uh, or we can use it to load solid fertilizer into our Montag. And then we have our J&M uh, Speed Tender LC390. And our Bestway 1200 Sprayer. Then in our next shed here, so we'll start in the back here. We've got our Challenger uh, SP185C swather with the uh, conditioner head on it. Then we've got two Meyer uh, RT620 forage boxes. And then our um, Anderson RBM 2000 bale loader John Deere 435 round baler uh, this is the Kloss 850 Jaguar with the RU 600 uh, corn chopping head on it the John Deere 7430 um, another piece of equipment that we have on the farm that I work for ours has a loader and a grapple bucket on it and that's our kind of chore tractor and uh, baling tractor. Um, then we've got the Vermeer R2800 V-Rake and our Alice Chalmers 7080. So that is kind of all of our main um, cow farming equipment. Here we've got our mixing shed. So we can put, uh, let's see here into this so the mixing building so in here we can make um, TMR or total mixed rations by putting silage hay mineral feed and straw all in here so we will definitely be taking advantage of that um, I mean we could also make our own mineral mineral feed but we're probably just gonna buy it um, so, but, uh, just kind of an easier way to just make a whole bunch of feed, uh, at one time, and then I believe it's this first one that we loaded out of, first one or the second one. Uh, but then we have our Vermeer, uh, BPX 9010 bale shredder. And then we have our Supreme International 900T Mixer Wagon. 
here we have our double John Deere bale spike, John Deere grapple bucket, and the John Deere 700M loader. And this is our harvestor silo. Um, just dump it in here and it'll ferment it into silage for us. And then we just pull it right out of here. And then over here, we have our ground load hopper trailer. Or hopper trailer. Ground load cattle trailer. Wow. And then here we have our feedlot pen. So this is where our cows will be going. Uh, oh, it's down here. There we go. And then here we have two uh, Batco BX or BCX3 conveyors and our Soaring Eagle uh, drive over. So that is kind of our yard to start with. Um, now, yes, this is a little bigger than I normally start out. Uh, machinery wise, you know, we kind of got some bigger, newer machinery. But if you look at the size of some of these fields, you can see there are some large fields on this map. So really comparing where we're starting now to what we can grow to to be able to farm a lot of these fields, we're actually not starting out too bad. Um, and I figured starting this way, it kind of gives us a little bit more of a start rather than starting out bare bone, small, old, that kind of thing. So for our fields, we own 26, 27. Uh, where the farm is was a field that was field 28. But now that is our yard. Um, then we have 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 38. Um, so the map does have all of the base game crops. But then it's also got a different wheat, um, different, well, there's a few different types of corn. Um, and then a couple different types of soybeans. And it does have alfalfa. So we will be um planting alfalfa in a couple of our fields to um make hay for our cows now um let's just take a look here so we got 43 wheat 39 oats are not bad 67 in january canola 77 55 85 not bad wow soybeans are 130 corn is 53 let's see what some of these other crops are like uh, so this wheat 49 130 okay so the prices are about the same Wow, alfalfa hay is, you can sell that for a pretty good price. Kentucky bluegrass hay windrow. Hmm. Oh, and we can bale our corn stalks as well. All right. Well, that is good to know. So we're going to do some oats so that way we can make a uh, good chunk of straw bales. And then I think soybeans and corn are going to be our other two crops. Obviously corn, so we have some silage. Now, let's take a look here. Uh, so, I think we'll do field 27 in alfalfa. So let's go ahead and get this made. We need 26... 27, 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, and then 38. Okay, so 26, we're going to do corn, and that is going to be our corn for chopping. Um, we're going to put done for lime because the pH values are all pretty good. Uh, good enough to get us going for our first year. It'll need to be rolled. So with fertilizer and it'll need spraying. 27 is going to be alfalfa. But done, it'll need sowing with fertilizer and then spraying, it will not need. Okay, now let's figure everything else out. So I'm thinking we'll do 29 and 33 in oats. 30 and 31 in soybeans, and then 38 and 32 in corn. Yeah, let's do that. So 29 is going to be oat. 30 soybeans. 31 soybeans. 32 corn. 33 oats. 38 corn. Okay. So lime we'll just put done. Need sewing. Yep. Need. So we'll get all this set up. And then when I started the save game, I did forget to put, um, I forgot to activate my start in spring mod. So I do need to, but well, before next episode, I will fast forward to March where we should be. So that way we can start our field work right away in tomorrow's video. Okay, so we've got that all set up. So, uh, I am going to Get us fast forwarded. I still need to uh, fill um, our bins with seed, fertilizer, and lime. Uh, or actually, I'm only going to buy seed and fertilizer for right now. Um, lime we will buy later. And then I do need to also get our chemical tanks and diesel tanks filled up. Um, I guess another thing I forgot to mention too, we do have quite a bit of a loan against us. We have just about two and a half million um, in loan. So we are going to have to work hard to pay that off. But uh, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there and I'll get all of these necessary changes made and done and then uh, when we come back we will kick off some uh, field work so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video hope you're looking forward to this series if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome hit that subscribe button if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not done so already to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, folks, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.